everyone, welcome to Stationery Magpie. This is my first ever YouTube video, so bear with me. This could be kind of rough around the edges, um, but I'm going to try my best. So today I'm doing a September plan with me video for my bullet journal. My August theme was really sea theme. I always tend to end up with like a sea theme for August. So I didn't actually finish much of it because I was moving all the way from Mexico. See, I've got this lovely little Mexico memories page that I need to add a few more things to. And then I had this Dutch door of the sea. I had my calendar. As you can see, I never actually got around to writing any goals whatsoever. Um, so I didn't really use my bullet journal that much this month. It's been a bit, yeah, taking a bit of a backseat. My brain dump is empty. This is my new printable that I designed and you can actually get this on the website by signing up to the newsletter. So the idea is it's like a weekly timetable and you can fill in your ideal week or your school calendar or your timetable and it's the right size, you just print it, cut it out, stick it in. Um, and I'm gonna use this to create my kind of perfect week schedule because I'm on quite a flexible schedule so I'm gonna give myself some structure with that. So yeah, my weeklies, all a bit empty, didn't really use it that much. I didn't even have a gratitude log this month. My trackers didn't really keep up with any of them. Um, I know this is, yeah, didn't do too much. Use this, not too much, but this is this week now. So it was kind of a bit of a rush and I didn't get a chance to properly plan August. I think August had actually started by the time that I created this. So now I'm gonna create my September spread. And um, we're coming into autumn. And I've actually decided to use my favourite cushion as my inspiration. Um, so this was a impulse buy from Ikea. I saw it and loved it and had to have it. Um, it doesn't really go with much that I have, but I just love the pattern and the colours and I thought it was really cute. So this is like my pillow that I have on my bed every day, just as a bit of decoration. Um, but yeah, I love the colours, I love the patterns, there's a lot of leaves, there's lots of kind of very Scandinavian. Um, so I think it's going to work well for an autumn theme. The past few years I've done things like fall leaves or I think one year I just did some colours. So this year I'm going to make a good cohesive September theme and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So let's start off with the colour swatch. Um, as you can see I actually used the pillow to get the colours. So I've got some really nice colours, I've got this lovely burnt orange, I've got a nice vibrant red, I've got a lovely deep kind of yellow colour, nice foresty green, and then I've used some Mars liner brush pens for some of the pastel colours. Um, the only colour I didn't have was this lovely pale yellow colour, but everything else is there and you can see the rest of the gorgeous pattern that I'm going to be using as inspiration for my journal. So I always start off with some sketches out of my layout. This month I decided to go very similar to my May bullet journal layout with a Dutch door and a double calendar. So I just started out by sketching out the basic outline of where the calendar is going to be and then putting in the big letters. So I like to work from the biggest things to the smallest so I can fill lots of space in my journal. Um, as you can see in the calendar, I decided rather than drawing lines, I'm going to draw boxes. So I used three of the core colours from my colour scheme. I used the pale blue, the kind of pale minty colour and the mustard yellow. I don't want to use any of the stronger colours because things won't show up when I write on them. Just a note about my inspiration for this kind of layout, I believe that Amanda Rachel Lee, the amazing Amanda Rachel Lee, had some very similar calendar to this with her bubble tea theme. So I've kind of taken inspiration from that, just wanted to give her some credit because she does some great artwork. I'm sure you've seen her before, um, but you should definitely go and check her out. You might also have noticed that I've actually left two days out of September. Um, because the first day of September is on a Sunday and the last day of September is on a Monday and that just annoyed me too much and I decided that I am going to stick it in my August month and in my October so I'm not going to worry about them, I'm just going to get rid of them. I prefer to work in full weeks. So now I'm going to use a Sharpie pen to put the dates on my boxes. Um, I actually didn't really leave any room to do the days of the week but it's pretty obvious all the 
the kind of working days of the week are on the left and the two weekends are on the right so that doesn't really matter. Um, just a note about using sharpies in my bullet journal. I never used to use them in my Leuchtturm but I have found that scribbles that matter definitely can take a sharpie. There's not really much bleed through, no there's no bleed through, there's like hardly any ghosting and it's very pigmented colour and as you can see it really works well with my Sakura white gel pen. It shows up a lot whereas other black pens it just didn't work as well. So now I'm just adding some pattern to the edge of the Dutch door. I haven't actually cut it yet and I realised after doing the pattern and after writing out the month that I completely forgot I was meant to write the month on the other page, the end of the month. So I ended up cutting it off and then I was like, ah, right, okay. So, oh well, doesn't matter. It was pretty easy to do so I just cut that off and I just had to draw in again but, you know, it didn't take me that long. That is the importance of planning. So I just trim the edges of my Dutch door, as you can see quite brutally, just cut through and then I just round off the corners. Um, just starting to add some little accents. I quite like to fill up the page as I go along. Helps me to really see how it's going to work out. And so I'm just adding some like blue leaf things and thinking about what I'm going to do next. So now I'm starting to look at the Dutch door. Um, I decided to colour in the edge and I had to use another little bit of paper to make sure obviously that I didn't draw on my calendar and I used the yellow to edge it and then I put some of the kind of mint green just written in the numbers and I decided as well I wanted a little bit more colour so I added some orange with some zigzag um, I don't know if you can notice in the bottom left hand corner of the calendar there's like a big red smudge and I don't know if you've noticed my nails but yeah, cheap nail varnish and bullet journal obviously didn't mix, but at least it was in my colour scheme, so I guess I can't be too mad. And okay, yeah, so I just added some more edging, and I finished off the new letters that I had to draw. So I actually used two calendars in my monthly spread, because I like to have one calendar for all my personal and um, kind of everyday things. And I also like to have a kind of list view for my blog and um, to plan the content that goes out. And obviously some, some months that works better than others, but it's nice for me to keep them separate. Otherwise, I feel like things are too hard to kind of make sense of. Um, so that's why I do that. And every month in this bullet journal, I've used some kind of Dutch door. But this was the same layout as I used in May and it did work quite well for me. So I'm just adding some more doodles, um, I really like this flower, how this kind of came out was pretty easy to do, so I just had a go at, pretty much copied it off the pillow, thank you Ikea. Now let's get to my goal section that I almost didn't fit in, because I didn't really concentrate when I was doing that. Um, so I've got a goal section, and also I've got a little task section that's going to be on that black box, I'm going to use my Sakura. Um, Pigma Micron white gel pen to write tasks on there. Um, this unfortunately went really wrong so I thought it would be really cool to do a kind of overlay um, with the pattern and the colour I used was just way too dark and as you can see I just couldn't see it at all so I kind of hated that, thought about covering it up with the bit of paper that I'd cut off the Dutch door and I had a thought about it while I was doing some more doodling didn't really want to colour all the way over it because I felt like it would be a lot of sharpie to whack on there so I just left it for a little bit. I actually used the white gel pen on the orange which worked really well other than just the black it was a nice effect to have so I really liked how this gold section worked out and I'm just filling some more space with doodles I really liked this little green doodle the best. It was the easiest to draw and I just really liked how it turned out. And these were some kind of weird little, I think in America it's candy corn kind of things, but we don't really have them in the UK. But I really liked these little things just to fill some space.
So I finally went back to this little mistake section and I decided to glue some black paper on top of it so that I could just write over it in my white gel pen again. So I just cut it to size, glued it on, it was actually a little bit small. So what I did was I made a little border with this lovely, oh, not yet, with the lovely forest green. So I did some zigzags on the top, kind of went a bit close to the other doodles, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of a rustic theme, so I didn't mind how that turned out. And there we go. So I have my calendar, I have my log, I have a task list, I have some goals that I'm going to fill in later, and I also have a little next month box. So I pretty much always have the same few pages after my monthly log, and the first one is my brain dump. Um, as you can see, I didn't have loads of room for like tasks and notes and stuff, uh, because I kind of decided that I wanted to use my brain dump more for this, so I have more space to do that and write lots of the notes that I need to do. Um, I just did the writing very quickly with my yellow mild liner and I overlaid some hand lettering. Really love this effect, so I used it twice, why not? And then what I did was I decided to just fill in a lot of the empty space because I know I'm not going to use the whole page. Um, so I like my pages to look kind of full. I feel like they always look a bit more complete when I've got more on them. So I just filled the space with some doodles. I probably could have waited to do this after I finished, but to be honest, once I'm finished with a page, I never really go back to it. So I knew that I probably wouldn't bother. So I just thought I'd do this now and then it's got lots of things on it. The next page that I always do pretty much the exact same format is my gratitude log. I used to do a two page gratitude log, but now I've started doing one page just because I find that two pages can be quite a lot to design and I need to have my gratitude gratitude log done if I'm gonna actually use it for the month. So again, I used the orange, just made a nice rectangle shape, used my white Sakura to write the numbers and then I was very brave and I used my new Mardliner brush pens to do some lettering. I'm actually really pleased with how this came out. I really like these pens. I ordered them when I was in Mexico for when I got home and they were the best coming home present. So just adding some more doodles, I added some zigzag onto the side of the box just to make it a bit more interesting. More zigzags and then just another zigzag, why not? I also decided to just give some accent to my lettering because the colours were quite light so I thought it needed a little bit of a shadow just to give it a bit more impact. And there we have the two pages after my monthly log, my brain dump and my gratitude log. So now onto my weekly. I really have tried to kind of vary my weekly style but I always find I come back to this one and I'm kind of a big advocate for if it ain't broke don't fix it but I have really enjoyed trying to experiment with new layouts but ultimately this is probably the one for me. Um, it's just the standard kind of splitting the page into four and the seven boxes for every day of the week and a little bit of space for the title of the week. Um, so I just decided to do it. And my lettering on this one, just really simple, used some colours and then did some overlay outlining that was a little bit offset. I need to practice that technique a bit more but it was pretty good, I was quite happy with how it turned out. And then I just kind of filled in some doodles and I drew my habit tracker. I know a lot of people like monthly trackers, but for me I find that even though I've pretty much had the same four habits for months and months now, I like to have the option to change them around. So at the moment my habits are yoga, um, book which is reading, bullet journal and my blog. And then I just filled in the rest of the space with some doodles. Then what I did was use my white gel pen again to write the days of the week and the dates. And that was it. There's my first weekly. So last of all, I don't know why I did this last, I know lots of people do this first, but I did my cover page. Um, just because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to turn out and I really liked the lettering I did on this. I used a mix of kind of big and small and I actually copied quite a lot of the, the um, pictures from the pillow. So I kept looking over and kind of finding new things that I wanted to fill the space with. Really love this colour palette. I feel like it's really, it's autumnal but it's it's not boring. Like I really love all the autumn leaves people do but it kind of gets a bit samey. So I really enjoyed having this colourful palette to play with. And yeah, I just find this, this theme just came out really well. I really like how it's come out. Um, I often find that when I use something as inspiration, my themes 
just come out so much better. I remember in June, I actually used my pencil case as a theme inspiration and I used the colour palette from that. And it definitely takes the pressure off of trying to think of everything in your head and just create from your mind. Like it just, I find it so enjoyable. And there we go, it's all done. So my cover page, my monthly with my Dutch door, the weekly, which I probably keep a similar layout every week, and my brain dump and my gratitude log. So there we go, my first ever plan with me video. I'm actually really pleased with how it's turned out. I am in love with this theme. So thank you, Ikea. It's really great. Um, I feel like it's gonna be so easy just to keep on top of, just because the inspiration is just all on this pillow. And I love the colors, I love the drawings, I love how quirky it is and it's just so colourful and happy. So yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe. I know this is very new, but I'm hoping to do a plan with me video every month. I hope it's gonna motivate me to do some really interesting creative bullet journal themes. Make sure you check out the blog, you can download printables and you can subscribe to my newsletter where you get lots of great deals from stationery shops and I let you know about any exciting competitions or any exciting things happening in the stationery magpie world. So thanks for watching, click subscribe and enjoy journaling. <laughs>